everyone! So today's video is going to be on this very retro look here and this is just going to be a throwback for Marilyn Monroe's birthday. I hope you guys like it and if you want to see how to achieve this just keep on watching. I'm so in love with you. So we're going to start off by priming our face as always and going ahead and spritzing a little bit of this Urban Decay Mist and then going ahead and correcting some of the redness in our skin with the Makeup Forever Base Corrector. Then we're going to go in with another Makeup Forever product. This is a foundation stick that I have been using lately which I am in love with and it gives me a lot of luminosity and coverage. So we're going to go ahead and use that today and then blend this out. I'm going to go ahead and use some of this Fix Plus on a brush. It's going to help blend out and give me just a little bit more control of the product and it does help kind of give it just a little bit more of a hydration base. I really needed it on this particular day because I was feeling particularly dry. So we're going in with Urban Decay Naked Skin concealer and this stuff is my absolute favorite. I'm going to be using it down the front of my face and under the eyes and as a eyeshadow base as well. Taking a damp beauty blender, I'm going to go ahead and just tap all this out. Then I'm going to take the same beauty blender and bake with a crystal translucent powder from NARS. And I'm going to be putting this under the eye area just to prevent some creasing. It really does work well and I actually have been loving actually baking and leaving it under there and then finishing my makeup with other products. And by doing this, it's really kind of prevent all the creasing and all the buildup that might happen under there. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with this Chanel Soleil Tan Bronzer. I'm actually using this because I have not set the rest of my face with a powder yet. And I'm going to go ahead and use this as a base for some of the contour and everything else I'm going to be layering on top of it. It looks so pretty in person and it's just so beautiful on the skin. I'm going to go ahead and wipe away the rest of this excess powder and just make sure that I've got a clean base for the rest of the makeup. I'm going to go ahead and go in and do my brows. I kind of sped through this because it's really not that important. You guys know exactly how I do this. I do it like I do in my beginner's makeup tutorial. I'll go ahead and link that down below for you. And I'm going to go ahead and just set this with the L'Oreal Stylist Brow Plumper as always. And then we'll move on to the next step. Moving on to the rest of the skin, I'm going to go ahead and use my brand new Jaclyn Hill Becca palette and I'm going to be using the terracotta color in the very middle here and just putting this on the cheeks and working it back towards my hairline. Then I'm going to be going in with a bronzer just to set everything and this is from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to go ahead and use this color here and I'm going to use it on all the high points and the hollows of the cheeks and the undercarriage of the jaw like normal. And then I'm going to go in with Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop mixed together and put that as a highlighter on my cheeks and on my brow bone. Can we just look at this bad boy shine? Yes, love it. Anyways, I'm obsessed with this two highlighters together. It's just amazing. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and move on to the eyes. So I'm using again the bronzer we used on 
or the contour powder that we used on the hollows of the cheeks and everything and I'm going to use that in the crease of my eye. It's going to be a real, real simple, easy eye tutorial today because I want it to be simple, quick, easy, and something that everybody can do. I also really want to focus on the skin and making it as luminous as possible. So anyways, let's get back to the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and use this perversion eye coal. It's really creamy and easy to blend. So I'm going to take this pencil and really just blend this all the way out from the inner corner to the outer corner. And I'm going to be using a liquid to make the wing. Remember to really take your time to smoke this out. It does take a little bit of concentration, but it's all well worth it. And I'm going to go ahead and go in and just put a little bit with no additional product. I'm sorry. Just put a little bit on the underneath part just to give it a little bit more openness. Um, I'm going to go in with Elf's liquid liner because it's my favorite. And I'm going to go ahead and make this wing, but I'm not going to make it too crazy. I really just want it so that it's going to blend in with the smoky liner we just did. Brighten up the inner corners of this look. I'm going to take a little bit of that highlighter because I just can't get enough and put it underneath the lash line and then in the inner corners as well. And then we're going to go ahead and do some much needed mascara and lash curler of course um i really like to go ahead and pulsate those lashes get them nice and curled and then do the mascara and i'm going to be using the lancome mascara today because it gets really nice on the inner and outer corner then we'll add some false lashes <laughs> Because this is a throwback retro look, I wanted to do a classic red lip and I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this MAC red liner and it came out a little orangey so it's not a huge deal. You can go ahead and fill in the outer corners of your lips so it's a little bit more ombre. I'm going to go ahead and go in with two red liquid lipsticks. I'm going to go with the darker color on the outside and the more vibrant one in the middle and blend them together. It's been really fun doing a ombre lip or, you know, creating different ombre lips and color combinations and things like that. But today, because I want to keep it as retro and as classic as possible, this is what we're going to be using. I'm so in love with you. Red is super unforgiving, so if you mess up and do a horrible application job like I did on this one, I went ahead and went through the outside edges with a concealer and a nice concealer brush with a flat edge because it makes it really easy to get a nice crisp precise line. So this is going to be the final look guys. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching and this is my retro hair as well that will be on the next tutorial and we'll see you in the next one. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye. If you guys have not seen this review yet, go ahead and click here. And if you haven't already, please subscribe.